Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin and we are looking at Carvana and I have a question for you. Is it 2021? Are we buying NFTs? What's the price of Bitcoin? And the reason why I say that is because Carvana, one of the darlings of COVID, is back on the radar. It is one of the hottest stocks on Yahoo Finance today, being up 9.33%. Now, when you look at the overall price here, what you can see is that yesterday on the 10th, or two days ago on the 10th, yesterday on the 11th, and today on the 12th, you are seeing red lettering with a white background, which means that it is three standard deviations above its 23-day average. The price is above its five-day average, it's above its 20-day average. We are seeing moves in Carvana that make me think that we might not be in a recession and the bears are gonna get cooked. Because when we see here, we've got the one day, the five day, the 15 day, the one month, the three month, and the six month, all incredibly positive. Look at that three month change. This thing is up 333% in three months. Let's go back to when this flipped positive. Because these are the type of signals I pay attention to, and maybe you do too. Maybe this is your first time watching my video, so maybe you'll figure out that this is an important thing to do. But when we look back here on May 5th, we can see that that was the first time that we saw the six month, three month, one month, 15 day, five, five day, and one day all flip positive at the exact same time. Now, I'm not saying that was a signal. I'm just saying that since then, Carvana's up 333% on the three month rolling. And this thing has gone from $11.85 up to $38.89. I wish I had a piece. Now, when we look at the overall signals, we can see that we have a go long in the short term, go long in the intermediate term, and go long in the long term. You can see we've got bullish, bullish, bullish on short term, intermediate term, and longer term. What an incredible move. If you looked at any of my previous videos, you'll know that when we look at this section, the rolling sentiment, that anything over 60 gets that red lettering with the white background. Again, Carvana threw these signals back at the beginning of May. I wasn't paying attention because it didn't register on the most actives, but I know whoever was is very happy that they're still long because this thing is probably the most overbought I've ever seen of any stock. This has the type of move that like a Tesla would have. Like if we go back to the beginning of February of 2023, you'll see that we have very similar moves here. And let's guess, the price was essentially rocketing higher. But what we're seeing now is something that's completely different because it's not just kind of like chopping around where it was here in February. This thing is making new highs. That's a nine month high in Carvana. I don't know how their business is good. I don't know if their business is bad. All I know is that their stock price is up. They are from $4. $4 in December of 2022 up to 40. I don't even know what that return is, but I'll tell you what, if you held, you are living fat right now. Let's look at this daily sentiment indicator. What's a crazy too is that it's essentially been a steady march up. It's essentially been the move where we're only at 63% in terms of a daily sentiment indicator. The volume, while it is remarkable for what we're seeing, it doesn't look completely out of character. This isn't even the high, this isn't even the third or fourth or fifth or sixth highest day in the past nine months. So Carvana's got the bid, it's got the demand, and it's really in control. Now I will say that this volatility is obviously much higher than it's ever been. The most recent high volatility we're looking at is at like 7.6. We're up at what, like 10.6? The interesting thing though is that this day correlation continues to stay positive. So as this price is breaking up, the correlation is staying positive. Even if it falls a little, it still stays positive, which is why you're getting dramatic moves to the upside. When we look at the trade range. I mean, could you say this thing has got more love? I mean, look at this thing. The trade range on Carvana is absolutely insane. We had a tight little range here when the volatility got tight. It started to break out, and that was the beginning of what is the eventual end of the bears in Carvana. Prayers, thoughts and prayers for anybody who's been short, stayed short, and is still short because you are getting cooked, you are getting margin called, and I have a feeling that you're about to have a discussion with your broker about what's the price of your house. So when we look here at the ultra fast sentiment, I mean, wow, zers. This thing essentially bottoms at 50% and stays in the 60s, which I don't normally see. I will say there's a little bit of concern because it is under the 15 day moving average. We'll see what happens over the rest of the week, but do yourself a favor. Subscribe to the New High newsletter where we look at tickers just like this every Sunday at 9 a.m. for free. Sign up and do yourself a favor. I'll talk to you soon.